Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will continue from our last video in Pain Rory's Battle Axe, She. We will start by applying Demonet Hide to the lower and upper part of the axe, leaving the area between her arms unpainted for now. You can see on the model where the area changes. Only one layer of paint is needed as it will be painted over later with other colors. We will also paint the twirling snakes with the same color. The axe should look like this once we are done facing it. With Nagaroth Knight we will paint the spear at the bottom end of the axe. Once done with the bottom end, we will change to Zerius purple and paint the snakes. Combining one to one of demonet hide and metallic medium, we will repaint the areas of the pole, avoiding the snake. When our metallic fully dries, using true he violet, we will shade the whole area. Using iron hand steel, we will now paint the middle of the axis pole. Shading the middle of the pole will be achieved using liquid skill, also known as null oil. Time to give our snake a bit of a highlight. Using Jim Steeler Purple, we shall paint the raised outer areas of the snake's body. We have done good progress so far. Those are the interim results. Moving to the axe head, we will use Screamer Pink and paint the whole area.
For the blade, we are going to use iron hand steel as well as for the pointy cross of the butt. We will begin to paint the details on the axe head with a layer of grey seal. As the lines are fine, I recommend you to use the belly of the brush, as to not paint over the axe head layer. In case you make any mistakes, like you see on the video, feel free to correct them using Screamer Pink. Using the same technique with Corax White, we will overlay the grey seal. Finally, we will shade the blade and all other metallic areas on the axe head with null oil. The colors used for this video appears on your screen now. I hope to see you in the next video where we will finish the model by adding highlights to Rory's body and finalizing the axe. This was Miniature Ursus, I would like to thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.